I'm stressedout.ca, free online help, helping you de-stress your life. You have enough stress in your life, you don't need any more, especially from religious people at your door when you just put the baby to sleep or you finally got to sleep in on the weekend. You're about to learn a simple and effective system that I've developed called The Magic Question. How to get rid of religious people from your door for good. Why this way? There are many ways to get rid of the people from your door. Some are just a polite request. Others are a bit confrontational. Some people like hiding or just ignoring them. This method is kind, honest, and potentially beneficial for everybody. Most of all, this works for me every single time. They don't stay for long, and they never come back. Step 1. Don't accept any of their printed material. This is seen as acceptance of their beliefs and possession is a bit like ownership. Ask them if they are Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons, which will probably look like teenagers in suits. This will start them saying yes and open them up for your next request. It's a good sales technique to get people to say yes, that way they won't say no to you. And you don't want them to control the conversation. Do not answer any of their icebreaker questions. Instead, ask them to answer a question that other people could not. Now this will intrigue them and they'll want to show off your skills. Step 3. Ask them this simple question. What has God told you this week? Then say nothing else. No matter what they say, keep them on this question. They will initially look puzzled, and then they'll default to their script and say, well, God speaks through his word in the Bible. Agree to this and compliment them on actually reading the Bible. But ask again, what has God said to you personally this week? Then don't let them change the subject. You can remind them that anyone can hear from God personally if they have relationship by grace instead of works or religion, which is pretty much what they're doing by going door to door. They'll say something like, well, doing religious things is what God really wants. Smile and nod at this, then kindly remind them that God will speak to them personally if they have relationship through grace instead of works. Now, you don't want to get into a religious discussion with them. That will put them back on their script, and you want to control the conversation here. Keep the question, what is God saying personally to them, the topic. Now, this will make them uncomfortable. When they realize that they can't run you over with their scripted dialogue, they will politely excuse themselves. They may even say that they'll come back, but they never do, and that's the whole great part of this. In reality, you may see this as an unfruitful conversation, but they rejected not you, but God's offer for them to have a real relationship. And like any other parent, all God really wants is to have a loving relationship with each one of his kids, and we're all meant to come home and be with our dad. Well, that's the presentation. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, you feel free to contact me with any questions or share your success stories. That's my email, Tony, at I'm stressed out.ca. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.